Now, before we jump into today's video, I have a quick announcement. If you are watching this in November or near the release date, then you know Cyber Monday is just about to be upon us. And this year we're doing something really special for Cyber Monday. If you are in the process of going from idea to first launch with your no-code app, and you want to move through that process with more structure so that it's easier and a lot less time consuming, then listen up because this is for you. Over the years, we've worked with hundreds of clients who are going from idea to launch. And during that time, we found what does work and what doesn't work. And so we've put together a brand new training and worksheet and template system that you can use to help streamline that process for yourself. This new training and collection of worksheets and templates goes through the major steps in planning and launching your app from validating your idea to strategically scoping your app to laying the foundation for your database structure, your overall, your overall app architecture and page structure, and even your initial user outreach. This type of process is what has worked for our own clients. And so now we have created an individual training just for Cyber Monday to help you go through that process with your app as well. Cyber Monday is on November 29th. And first thing that morning, we're going to be opening up this training for purchase, and it'll be available throughout that day, only on Monday the 29th. So if you want to grab this for yourself, then I want you to either keep a heads up on the Facebook group, and there's a link below if you are not a member of that group already. Uh, keep a heads up via email where, where we'll also be announcing the release of that. And if you're not on our email list, then there is a link below. And keep a heads up here on YouTube because we're also going to be sharing one more announcement here as well. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on so that you are the first to know when this training and worksheet system is available. All right, let's head to the video. Going from idea to pilot launch with your no-code app involves three specific steps, which then lead to a fourth layer on top of that. And that is kind of like the launching pad for your business. Now, in the last two videos, we covered two of those steps, which are strategy and structure. And in this video, we're covering the third step, which is systems. Now, strategy, structure, and systems, when those all come together, they lead to that fourth layer of scale. And again, that's like the launching pad for your no-code app and your business. So we're going to dive into systems today so you can understand what's involved in this step to get you to that scale stage and what order these steps should go in within the actual systems phase alone. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. All right, so we're on the whiteboard here, and again, we have strategy, structure, and systems all leading to your pilot launch. And that is where you reach that scale layer, assuming that you've gone through the rest of the process correctly. Now, I'm not going to go through strategy and structure in depth because our previous two videos did that. So if you haven't seen those, check out the strategy video and make sure to check out the structure video so that you can appropriately move into this step in the process. But as a quick overview, what we're looking at here are these three steps, strategy, structure, and systems that lead to the pilot launch of your app. This is the launch of your first version so that you can start getting feedback, start charging your users, and start growing your business from there. Okay, that's when you start scaling. Now, in the strategy step, the goal is for you to come out on the other side with an idea to users roadmap. So this is the structure that's put in place so that you can go through your development, through your user outreach, and through your launch correctly and confidently. Moving into the structure 
step. This is where you want to come out on the other side with a foundation of your app that scales. So this is when you're focusing on things like laying the foundation for your app's database, laying the framework for your app's overall architecture, and making sure that the entire frame, that entire foundation is in place so that when you start layering on the custom logic, when you start putting in the niche touches and functionality, it can scale. Now, remember, this is the process we use with our very own clients, and we worked with hundreds of them over the years as they've gone through this idea to launch process of their own. And so we found what doesn't work and we found what works. And what does work is when you have strategy and structure in place in order to appropriately lay your systems on top. And once you have those three things, then you can execute on your pilot launch and start scaling your app and business. All right, so let's dive into this systems step of the process. So we're looking at systems down here. The goal for you on the other side of this step is to have your unique and custom logic in place and ready to hand off to users. So once you reach the end of this system step, really the only things you should have left to do is run through your testing process. You're testing as a developer, that's you on the inside, you're testing with your alpha users, that is usually a small set of external users to test for functionality. And then you can head into your pilot launch. Now, caveat here, we're not going to go through technical tutorials on how to build out your custom logic in your app, because the reality is if you don't have these foundational pieces in place, then those type of tech tutorials, they just aren't relevant. Now we have tons of those, so you can definitely access those uh, if that's what you're looking for. But with this specifically, we're looking at the order of the steps and actually what's involved so that you can have some structure when you do go and start implementing those tech pieces as well. So the very first step within this systems part of the process is taking what you've done in the structure part and really just weaving that together. So again, if you haven't watched the structure video, make sure you go back and do that. But once you have, you'll, you'll see that you have put into place the structure of your database. So your, your database foundation is there and you've put together the framework for your overall apps architecture. So the structure of pages or groups, the way users navigate through those. Okay, those components should be planned out, decided on, and ideally in place. An important thing to understand is that there is an order to this process. So notice that up to this point, we haven't talked about putting the systems or the logic in place, and that's with intent. So a lot of people will go into development and they'll design the front end of their app and then they'll start trying to put the logic into place and their database kind of comes into play as they go. And that's not the way I want you to approach it. Instead, I want you to have the plan first, which is that strategy step. Then I want you to have the structure, which is the underlying foundation. So your database first and then the page structure. So the back end and then the front end. Once you have those two, then you can come into this next step and we'll come down here. So if we have the, let's say this is the back end of your app, and then we have right here, the front end, what we're doing at this very first step in the systems part of the process is connecting those two. Okay, so you have the back end, then you have the front end, now you can connect the two. Having the back and the front end in place first gives you the foundation and framework that you need to have a lot of the decisions made. Because when you go in to your app and you start designing the front end first, and then you start kind of trying to build all the logic and the database together, things get really messy really fast. And it can lead to a lot of confusion and honestly indecision. So one of the things that we really like to do is simplify the process of building your app. And by having the back end in place and the front end in place, most of the decisions are already made, right? Most of what you need is there. Now you just have to connect the two. It's such a cleaner process and it will compress your development timeframe 
significantly. Okay, so you have the back end and then you have the front end. And what you want to do is actually just connect those two with your user stories. Okay, now we talked a little bit about this in the structure video, but your user stories are basically all of the steps or the processes or the flows a user will follow throughout your app. So all the actions they will take and all the outcomes they should be able to achieve. Those are your user stories. So you're essentially taking the back and the front of your app and connecting them via your user stories, which should already be planned out by now. And when you have those in place, Honestly, the, the majority of your core product is going to be complete. Now, this should not be some extensive, massive app. We're talking about, remember, a pilot launch. A pilot launch is the very first version of your app. It's the features that must be in place in order to solve the core problem your app is aiming to solve. It is not an app that solves every pr problem that your users could possibly have for all the different user types if you have multiples. It's the very core product, okay? So once you get the back end, the front end, and those user stories all created within the two, then most of your core product is gonna be complete. That's the order I want you to move forward with. Now, the next step is one that might weave back a little bit earlier or might happen now, and that is, using APIs within your app, okay? So this may or may not be relevant to you because you might not be needing any APIs, but if you do need your app to connect with external services, so you need to pass information, then usually you're going to be waiting to layer that functionality on until later. Because once you have your core functionality in place, all the processes that need to happen underneath, then you can layer on the external services and the more advanced or customized functionality. Now, caveat, this is not always the case because some apps are going to be a lot more API dependent. Some apps are only going to focus on APIs, really. And so if that's the case for you, then obviously the APIs are gonna come a little bit earlier. But if APIs are more of a later stage for you, which generally they are, then I would start focusing on it here. Okay, so you have that base, base layer, that base foundation of your custom logic that you've put into your app, and then you have your APIs, which expands or elevates or supplements even that base functionality. Now we have another video on APIs. If you are using APIs within your app, then it can help you understand what you need to plan out in order to make sure you're using APIs correctly. So check out that video if this is relevant to you. Now with the next step, I'm going to throw a little bit of a curveball, and this one is not going to be expected probably, but in the systems phase, you want to start thinking about something that's a little bit different than these technical components. You really want to start thinking about your pilot user outreach. Now, really, it's, it's never too soon to start thinking about this. But if you think about your app's development and launch, so let's say you think about going from your idea to that first pilot launch, Let's say that time frame is about three months, which is what we would suggest it taking you. Well, then about halfway through, if you haven't started doing your user outreach, then it's time to go ahead and do so. You really don't want to wait any later than that, because what you do want to happen is as soon as that core functionality is complete, you want to have pilot users lined up and ready to come on board. What you don't want to happen is to have that core functionality complete and then to start thinking about your user outreach because then you're going to have this upward trend as you're building your app. And then when you hit your launch, which should really continue up, you're going to come way down and you're going to have a big lag, a big stall while you try to figure out how to even get users. You don't want that to happen. So we want these to happen together. And so what I'm going to put here is this is going to be a little megaphone for user outreach. Now, this does not have to be complicated. This should be simple. These are low hanging fruit users, your default users, which we've talked about in lots of other videos. 
it should not be a complicated process for you to get these users lined up. You should be able to reach out via one, maybe two user acquisition channels at most in order to get that pilot group ready to go so that as soon as you launch, they can come on board and start giving you immediate feedback so that you can, instead of letting up off the gas pedal, push down even harder. Okay, so we're gonna take a minute to zoom back out so that you can get an idea of what the full process looks like, starting from the very beginning. So the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and set your launch date. And remember, we're looking at about a three month time frame. You really shouldn't go any farther than that. Set it, share it, commit to it. Okay, that's gonna help you move forward with some momentum. And then you need to strategically make sure you scope out your app, make sure that you're building the right features and that you're going to be delivering the correct features on that launch date to the correct users. This is really important because you need to get the right feedback. And so you need to set yourself up to get the right feedback. That means building the right things at the right time for the right people. And then of course you need to make sure you have accountability throughout this process. This is not a technical thing, right? But it's so important. If you do not have accountability, whether that's external or whether, whether someone else holds you, to, holds you accountable or whether you build that for yourself or ideally both, it needs to be in place or you're gonna have a hard time meeting that launch date you set. And then when you move into the structure phase, you need to start on paper. Our own clients don't start on paper. We have templates set up for them, but you get the idea. You need to get your structure for your database, for your app, your overall architecture. You can think of this as like a wireframe, but not one that's for aesthetics. You need to think of a functional wireframe. So getting your database structure, getting your page structure all lined up and ready to actually then implement into your editor because that is going to cut out a ton of the guesswork and a ton of back and forth. And remember, one of our main jobs is to simplify the heck out of this process. And this is where things get really complicated. And so while this might seem simple, just getting things out onto paper or whatever it looks like for you, it's so important. So from there, you need to make sure that you have your database structured out. You need to make sure you have your pages, your overall navigation structured out. Remember, you're creating that foundation and that framework that have to be solidly in place and correctly in place, promoting scalability or enabling scalability, rather. Those have to be in place for you to then move into your systems. This is where you use your user stories, which are your users' actions and outcomes. Right? This is where you use those to create your custom logic within your app. You're going to be using APIs, connecting via APIs if you need to, and you're going to be making sure that you start your user outreach if you have not already so that as soon as that core functionality is ready, you can push down on the gas pedal even harder instead of letting off. All of these things in this order are going to lead you to your pilot launch. And if you've done them correctly, and if you have built your app in a scalable way that is scalable for you and your situation and your users, then you are going to hit that fourth level of scale. Strategy, structure, system, scale, so that you can launch and grow your app and your business sustainably long term. Listen, if you're going through this process from taking your idea and packaging it up into an app-based solution for your market, then I want you to follow these steps and these stages because it's going to help you move forward with more structure. It's going to help you move forward strategically and correctly so that you can actually put your app into users' hands. We have used this process with our own clients, with hundreds of them as they've gone through this exact same process as you, and it works for them and so it can work for you too. So make sure to implement this as you move forward. And if you found this helpful, then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more so that we can help you build more and more momentum with your app towards your launch and towards that ultimate scale.